Ooh, so much happening in Star Citizen. I thought I'd wait till the end and do a big video about everything that happened, but there's so much keeps coming in. Let's stop it right here and take a look at the new alien ship from Iopa called the Santok. Yeah, I pronounced. Um... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Montoya. A lot happening in Star Citizen. I want to start off by looking at the new ship which just came out, the new concept uh, from Iopa called the... And I'm going to listen to pronunciation here one more time because I keep messing this up. Take it away. And their new ship is called the Santokyai. Santokyai. Look at Jared's beardless face. You know, he looks... 30 years younger with a beard looks like a, a homeless hobo he's so much better without the beard i would keep that beard off completely if i was you jared definitely a much more handsome man this way but let's get back to the point here we are looking at the new ship from iopa the santok ei and you have to pronounce it with a Gion pronunciation i guess this is interesting to me because I'm a big, big fan of the alien ships in this game. In fact, the second ship I ever bought was the Cartuel. I believe it was $150. I can't remember. And it's a, it is, is, I was going to say was, it is a light, light scout ship. Now, I held it for a long time. Unfortunately, I did melt it. I put the money towards something else. I forgot what it was because the ship kind of... I didn't understand exactly where it fits in my portfolio of ships. It's fast, but it didn't have much firepower. But if I wanted fast, I got the M50. So I don't really know where it fits in. Now, this actually fits in a lot better with what I'm thinking because it is fast, maneuverable, and it carries a punch. It's got four size three weapons. Let's take a look at what they're saying about this new Car 2L Santok Yai. And uh, pretty much. Uh, not too extensive of a Q&A, but a good introduction Q&A. So let's start at the top here. What can the Stantok Yai do that the car 2 cannot and vice versa? Well, just from what I told you already, the car 2 is a light scout. This is a medium fighter. This ship here goes up against the Super Hornet and the Sabre. Now, the Super Hornet will have much more armor and more heavy shields. The Sabre also... In a straight out ball in open space, the Super Hornet will take us out very fast. Where does this ship shine is the question, and why would anyone bother buying it if there's better fighters out there? Here's the thing. The flight model is changing. We know that. And with the flight model changes, will there be more advantages to ships which are more maneuverable? The answer to that is yes, I think. Definitely yes. In atmosphere... Will something like the Sabre be more maneuverable than the Super Hornet? I would think so. The question is, would this ship here be maneuverable in atmosphere compared to the Sabre and the Super Hornet? Possible, because the thrust of the design, we'll have to see. But where I see this ship shining is essentially if you're in, say, a very congested asteroid field. You'll be able to zip in and out and around asteroids much faster than the Super Hornet or the Sabre, so you'll have the maneuverability as an advantage to you in combat. As far as the weapons, now they did mention this in, um, is this a common ship in the Xeon Empire? Yes. Are we getting into cool weapons? Uh, these are Yang 2 size 3 laser repeaters. Uh, what their thing is, is they fire a lot faster than any of the human weapons, but at the cost of increased heat. Now, this is where ship customization late in the game will come in. If you have a ship that you love, but you feel the shields are too weak, you can put on a bigger shield generator. If you feel the guns overheat too fast, you can put on a better cooler. So you can customize the aspects of the ship according to your game style. Now, this ship will have weak shields and the weapons will overheat, but I fully suspect that if you really wanna improve and modify this ship, you can put in better shields, but at the cost of a smaller cooler for the weapons. So there's going to be balance in that sense, which uh, I like the way they're going with it. Will the ship get its own UI style? Yes, it will. They're currently using one from Van Duel. This was a great question. I've never thought about this, but I love it. Will the Xion ships have their own branded ship computer voice? If yes, can it be English and Xion? I love it. 
I would love to get into an alien ship and have it speak to me in the alien language. I mean, we don't have to know that the engines are powering on. We don't need to know that shields are down. There's visual cues for that. But I think it definitely adds to the immersion of being in the alien ship if it spoke to you in the alien language. So CIG, definitely move on that because that adds so much more. In terms of combat, how will compare? We covered that exactly. And uh, definitely, it's going to come down to game style. I mean, I know brawlers dogfighters who will just charge straight on and fire all weapons and others which will use maneuvering so if you like to maneuver around a lot this will most likely be a pretty good candidate for that what amenities will the pilots find on board hey it's just a seat and a cockpit that's all to it there's no bed or anything so will this ship find its way into my hangar you know if they can give me a yellow one I might consider it. Price range, what was the Sabre going for? 150? If it comes in around 125 to 150 range, maybe. Again, I'm putting this ship in definitely by in the game when it comes out in the game uh, with game credits. Will I buy it for cash? It really depends on uh, the price range, I would say, because I have fighters already and I have fast ships already. It's not really giving me any new role. I mean, the aesthetics I simply love. But uh, for me personally, hey, I, I gotta say, um, this is definitely on my buy list in the game and uh, all depending on exactly the price range for it. But overall, I love it. What are your thoughts on the new Santok Yai? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts below. Uh, thumbs up if you like this video, as always. This video is brought to you by my Patreon backers. Thank you very much for your continued support. We do appreciate it all. Also, remember, drop by the merch store at test.gg slash merch. Go check it out. Lots of cool stuff in there, like this hat right here. And I will see you in the next video where I am going to be using the Hotas to fly from Port Alassar to Laurel. Can he do it? Will he crash along the way like he always does? Most likely. <laughs> see you in the next video.